okay now in order for us to use CSS uh, like if you want to use on our own CSS we can use the next CSS okay so there's an npm package called next CSS okay this one we just need to install that so it's zit next CSS so we'll go over here and we can do npm install zit next CSS and then it tells you that you need to add some configuration inside your next config.js file so I, we can just create one so we can go over here inside of the root we can create this file and it asks you to add these configurations so basically you require this package and then you just do module.export with CSS so then you'll be able to create your own CSS file so we can create our own CSS file we can create a directory like styles and inside of that I can add a file called style.css okay and then over here we can put all of our style okay now we need to also import this style into our head section so into our layout so we can just do import and then this will be outside one directory and then the styles and then style.css okay so let's go ahead and uh, style it just before I style it I think we need to remove the key from here and put it inside of the product component okay that's one and we should wrap this into a div so we'll wrap it and we can give it a class name of product container okay all right as you can see that I've started a little bit I've got the name of the product the price the image and later on we will also be able to add uh, a button for view and then we're going to send the user to the single product just say the class name btn btn secondary okay so this will help us to view the product and we will send the user to the single product page okay and from the nav bar we can change some of the details for example for home we can say woo next and uh, this can be categories categories and this can be my account and so on okay uh, of course we will create all of these routes and pages later on but just to let you know that that's how it's going to be let's just put this link in the center so we can just add the class text center okay and uh, regarding our configuration uh, we should not push our configuration the actual configuration it an example file and push that onto the git so we can say we config dot example dot js and this is where we'll add our configuration okay so we paste this and then we ask the user whoever is going to use our project uh, to go ahead and enter all of the uh, configuration after renaming wooconfig dot example dot js to just wooconfig dot js similarly we could do that for our uh, client config as well so we can create another file called client dash config dot dash example dot take this and just put it here okay and then we can write xyz dot com okay so this is we will ensure that our uh, sensitive information secret information should not get pushed to the git okay so in the next video guys we will learn about how you, you go ahead and display a single product page uh, this as you can see how simple it was to use WooCommerce REST API to go ahead and create uh, all of these products and display that onto the yeah display that onto so let me just fix this There's a product We should rename this as product and not products because this is a single product. 
okay and let's go back to index and just say product over here okay all right so in the next video we're going to learn about how to create a single product page okay i hope you did like the video if you did guys please do subscribe to my channel uh, and uh, you can follow me on twitter my twitter handle is imran h sayed so if you go to twitter you can find me here then you can follow me here